Yo, yes. so, 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 so let's let's change the subject a little bit. Let's go to music. Oh, I like God. that. I like this topic. We nah, can't we can't have this conversation. We about to have the only nah, argument. Yeah, this this I think, conversation I, I want to have with Jay. Yeah, I, I think heard, I, heard I think, Jay. and that's why I'm glad y'all on that I think side. me and Jay are gonna fight right now. Go, go ahead about cool. this. Somebody call security. All right, Ooh. we talking about top five. No, you know, I'll, I'll let now you. let's get straight to it, Mike. Go ahead. Top five, Jay. My top five. Dead or alive. Wait, wait, are we talking hip hop? Wait, hip hop. Are we going all around? Yeah, we're going all around. We're gonna right, start with Jay Royce. Nah, hip hop. Hip hop. Just hip hop. Just hip hop. Top five hip hop. Dead or alive. Jay, I'll let you go. First. Top five is definitely gonna be. Ooh. And, and it, hold on. Nas. Sorry. Nas, Ooh, pun. Yes. Any order? Or just, uh, he's just any order. Okay. Any, order. Better. any order. Any order. Oh, it's going to be Nas, pun, M, uh, Big L. Ooh. 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 I like that one. <laughs> Ooh. And it's going to be a toss up between the God MC, Rakim, or Jada. Sorry. Wow. No Hove? No. Oh, you just, oh, 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 you just no. broke oh. my You said Jada? Like Jada Kiss? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta put, understand, like, like you gotta put Rock, you gotta put Rakim in that one. Though. That's he what did, I said. I said it. Know, fact, it's gonna be a to- it's gonna be a toss up between Rakim and Jada, one hundred percent. Just a personal question, because I'm a huge Rock, Rakim fan too. What's your favorite Rakim album? And it, it, and is it with Eric B or is it when he he solo? Oh, uh, it's definitely with Eric B. Okay, it was definitely Eric B. Like you know, I, I grew up like I'm probably the oldest one out of everybody here, so like you know, don't sweat the technique, pay the full. Like all that shit was a learning shit for us. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can't fuck with Juice and the shit he listens to now. Yeah. Hey, but that's my top five is nowhere near. Future's not on my. Top but let me five. ask you a question: Why you why why would you think Hov would be in my top five? Hov's in my top five. I mean, and I'll explain it too. But all right, let me I, ask I, you, I, I, you: You're talking about all around Hov is on your top five because he's too commercial for me now. His B side shit, I fuck with him, but he's not in my top five. All all around Hov. I'll I'll explain to you why Hov's in my top five. Uh, Arson is Arson is what? All right, my top five is gonna be. Jay Z, Nas, Biggie, Eminem, and you know we grew up in different eras. L- Little Wayne. Mm. Wow. Everybody, Lil hey, Wayne. but you, you talking about? It. You gotta respect. Yeah, you gotta but, respect but you're it. talking about you talking about Wayne like, like Cash Money state. Wayne, the first the uh, first Carter yeah. album, first no, Carter. Yeah, like hey, that's <laughs> on the one two <laughs> no, three Wayne. You gotta give you gotta give that kid props. What he he made his first meal at what twelve years old or something like that. Yeah. He made his first meal at twelve. Little Wayne, but but I have a toss up with that. Like, like so if it's not Wayne, who is it? If it's not Wayne, I like Fab, bro. Yep. But Fab. top five though. Top five, Fab, Fab, Fab. I, top I like type Fab, but not my top five. How old are you again? Oh no, I'm lying. <laughs> oh, because we we always argue about this. I always I he's, he's twenty six by the way. I'm twenty six. I always switch it up. It's not Fab, and it's not. My my top five, the fifth person, Andre three thousand. Okay, yeah, beast, beast. That's that's beast. Andre three thousand. Arsons, what's your top five? Shit. <laughs> He's a DJ. It's so hard. He, it's hard, man. I can I get the top ten? Nah, nah top, top five, five, top five, dead or alive. Or just go back to your childhood and, and definitely Biggie and Nas, mm-hmm. off the rip. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Why is it unfortunate? He's That's yeah, fortunate. Kendrick's nice. No, because some of y'all might look at me like, what? Nah, niggas know who Kendrick so is. So now like, Biggie, know? Kendrick Lamar, obviously Jay-Z, and Eminem. Mm. That white boy can spit, boy. Yeah, he can. That white, that white boy, man. I mean, there's other artists that I think could be in that top ten, but... Boogie, who, who you looking like? My top five. No particular order, but off of it. I mean, you, you grew up with me, so nigga right behind Jay. Pac. Pac was a huge influence in my life. Uh, Jay Z, of course. Nas. Eminem. And to be honest, I'd probably go with. Fuck. If it's if it's if it's not Rakim, because like I'm I, I like a lot of like old school shit. Man, I wish we. Could we can't pick groups, nothing like that, right? Yeah. No, groups I, is next. No, I, groups is next. That's what I was going to oh, say. No, we're going to do top group. five groups next. Because <laughs> I, I was going to gonna, I was gonna throw in, you know, a Tribe Called Quest, bro. Like, yeah, I fuck with you know, them. That shit but I like how we But if it's, just, ladies, if, it's, if it's just no, solo artists, nice. if it's just solo artists, of course, uh, you know, Long Live the Dead, Big, B.I.G. Because, you know, he even though he only had a couple albums out, he, you know, he made his mark in the game. So, Long Live the Dead, Big L, Big Pun, Big Pac, everybody else was mentioned, blah, blah, blah. Aline? Definitely, you know Nas is daddy. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Yo, when you say daddy, that shit sounds sexy. Like I that. hate y'all. Yo. <laughs> see, see? Oh, my you gonna, God. You're going to have a problem with Nikki. <laughs> oh, my God. But continue. <laughs> Let me said, stop saying she it. She said daddy. <laughs> no. I'm like, so, anyway, um, I would say Nas. I definitely would say Biggie. Um, I'll put J. Cole up there because cause I really fuck with his flow. Um, I would go far as far as saying Kendrick. Cause Kendrick, I've I fucked with his music for a minute. Um, damn, who else? Uh, I used to fuck with Snoop. Not gonna lie, Snoop his his. Snoop is dope. He uh, has swag. You know what I'm saying? And it was back in the day, so it puts yo, me back. Nothing beats Doggy Style. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah, but when I, when, I, when I think of top five, I think of like you could put in this album. And listen to it straight and never skip a song. Okay, okay. Never. So speaking of albums, okay, like I want, I want to get to the groups. I want to get to the groups. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. No, okay. we need, we need to get to Dom too. But I do want to add, like, Dom we're going to go to favorite tone. projects eventually. Yeah. Dom but just listens to Future. <laughs> yeah, she's. Uh, a, hey, when in doubt, though. You don't. You want to talk about albums? <laughs> No, Jay Z, no, 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 no. I want to go to what you want to say. The groups. Oh, groups. But afterwards, we can go to favorite albums. I mean, does is that really five groups? Yeah, yeah, you can name five groups. I mean, yeah. EPMD. I don't, it all depends. I like EPMD, Eric, uh, Eric B, and Rakim. But it also it, it also goes into like what you got his. Capone and Noriega. You got. I'm I'm just naming. See, the, see those are, like I listen to them, but it's not. They're not like. Nah, my top five. My, my top five is gonna be Outcast, Cash Money. Uh, uh, not Cash Money. Uh, Birdman and, and Manny Fresh. Yeah, Birdman, Manny Fresh. Big timers. Fresh. The big timers. Big timers. Um, <laughs> that's my top five. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't grow up in the same era. All right, so right. yo, real, real, yo, if you don't have, if you don't have, uh, Black NWA, I like NWA. Oh yeah. If you don't have Black I'll Star, play. if you don't got Black Star in your top five for Black groups. Star, Black Star, oh, Black Star. My top five is probably gonna be as similar to Jay's. Yeah, you and Jay gonna have the same Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Mob Deep, Tribe Called Quest. Thank you. Yeah. Capone I'm with and that. Noriega. I'm with that. Mob Deep, right? I'm with that. That's four. That's four. Oh damn! Time. One more. I, I and I agree. Artist. I agree with Arson. It's tough. Favorite artist of all time. Favorite artist. Favorite. Hove. That's crazy. Hove. Hove. Cause artists. Oh Nas nah, like, all day. Hove. Nah, Nas nah, all day. Nas. I agree. Nas nah, nah. all day. I just day. seen Nas nah, nah, over Hove. Yeah. Yeah. Hey yo, and you know honestly, yeah, here, here's the thing though. Like you, it's, not, right, a prop, right, it's right. not a problem that you pick Nas over Hove. It's not. It's not Jay. Jay. Jay's my favorite. Jay five groups. Hold on, hold on. Jay's a big music fan. Illmatic or Reasonable Doubt. Yes. Ooh. Illmatic. 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 Are you kidding? Illmatic. Okay, hold on. So, but don't get me wrong though. Hov's hottest album to me is Reasonable Doubt. Of course. So yeah. because okay, you said Illmatic over Reasonable Doubt, but for you, is it is it because of the time of when Nas released uh, Illmatic, his age, like the time what was going on? Well, a, a lot of, a lot of it just like you guys don't know. He knows like like I'm from Queensbridge. Like I'm from that that the same hood. What part of Queens? Queensbridge projects. I'm oh, from shit. the projects. So like you know I I've seen these dudes in the streets so like I grew up with their music them and all that shit so I might be a little bit biased but at the end of the day like that's love you know what I'm I still can't you can only rap so much about how much money you got and how much clothes you got and all that shit over and over that but shit he gets boring you know what I'm saying but I'm talking about like his first album was dope yeah everything else to me it hot but it just sounded the same like commercial like i need content you know okay, what i'm saying so like reason, i need the content reason, the reason why i would always pick hove over nas is just because not saying like nas is you know everybody knows nas has got mcs you know what i'm saying like him and hove share that mic for me at least from our generation because mm -hmm. i wasn't alive with, with with biggie and Pac, even though Pac was you know huge for me but with with uh with nas is like after he put out illmatic you know especially like really it was just really illmatic and stillmatic and maybe it was written that was like really hard, yeah, really, really hard, and, and Godson, hard. Godson, 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 Godson because God, Godson hard. really kind of like to me anyway, my perspective showed another side of Nas. Yeah, mm -hmm. with, with Hove, it was like okay, you got reasonable doubt, and that shit is like you, you that you're not skipping, you no, are not skipping not. that whatsoever. You you hear can't knock the hustle from there, you you gonna finish at the end of, at, front at to the back end. exactly. But then after that, he went to commercial. He he did at the like second, all like the second all, album, and he admits it too. The second album, you know he, it, what it was it uh, in my lifetime, volume one. Yep. He, that's what he said. He tried to go commercial with the album, with the with the hits and shit like that. So, volume two is where he he corrected it. Where he, yeah. he kind of went commercial, but it was like really still street shit. I mean, nigga, it's hard knock life. He he sampled Annie, and niggas was still bumping that shit. Mm -hmm. Nah, yeah. you right. Hard. Like, I give you that. I give you that. So like, what's you your know? top five groups? Groups? Oh yes. man, come on. I didn't even say my my last group, but I don't know if y'all know. 
You ever heard of Black Moon? Of course. That's my last one. Black Moon? All right. Two turntables and a mic. Groups? It's definitely gonna be. It's definitely gonna be Mob Deep all Off day. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, a prodigy. Wu Tang. Rest in peace. Uh, mm-hmm. Tribe Called Quest. Mm-hmm. Um, damn, I'll be picky. Like CNN is my shit. I love performing. And then I don't know if like a fifth. It it could probably. I would probably say. You a toss up between the combo of Red and Meth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But they also kind of fall into Wu Tang though. Nah, they got Method they got Man. they got the Blackout album Me- Method together. Man. But I know, huh? Digging in the crepes. See, digging in the crepes like Showbiz AG like they were their own group in a group. You know what I'm saying? Fat Joe, Diamond D, like those dudes were dope. But then you, would you go with like what about Children of the Corn? Yeah. Ooh. Children of the Corn. Ooh. But then you have Marley Maul that had a group with him too. Like he had Big Daddy Kane and all them dudes running with him. So. It's hard to pick a fifth, but Outkast is up there, though. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Outkast yeah. is definitely I did, up there. I, I, I did want to ask you a, a separate, since you said you grew up in Queens and everything, when CNN, War Report, all that shit, like, so when, when that shit gets released, you know, in Queens, growing up in Queens, like, how was that, that era? Because it, I, 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 you know, I was born in New York, but I wasn't around in that time. I want to know, like, paint a picture for me. For, like, for their first shit, it, it, was, it, was, it was big for the hood. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, Everything was everything was the BX like everybody you know the BX reps hard absolutely you know and you know they got they got the God man KRS One is there, but you know before Nas and them dudes like we had MC Shan who did his best to hold it down as possible Roxanne Shante was probably the first female to come out the hood, mm-hmm. and then um, the uh, Intelligent Hoodlum who is you know Tragedy Gaddafi right now you, you know so it was hard like and then the only Kings of Queens was Run DMC. So it's hard, you know what right, I'm saying? Like okay. they had big shoes, so like you know when Nas came in and just fucking crushed it, like you gotta salute him. As a teenager, you have like to. That. And then you know you got them boys out there in Jamaica, like when when Q-Tip and Fife got together, it was Q-Tip alone is is a beast. Right, absolutely. So it, it it opened up the doors to be like, all right, niggas in Queens is doing their shit now. You know what I'm saying? So I could be a biased dude, but, but I just I like I mean, different. Though, so. I just like different kind of content in my hip hop. I understand. Yeah. No, I, d- I just wanted to you know. Again, I'm a hip hop head, so I, I I need to understand that feeling around that time. So how you think hip hop is today? <laughs> yeah. What's your opinion story. on hip hop today? From all of you, I'm asking totally everybody in here. Story. I mean, it's different. There's no substance. It's different. I think like even no when you substance. ask that question, like top five. And it's like, hard as it's a DJ. Totally like I can't even. Eras, it's two totally different top vibes. Like I don't I don't even think. It's but the you same notice how we all answered basically from the same era is because we know that this music now is trash it's yeah. just there's like i said I, just, I don't feel like there's any message being put across other than people doing drugs and and doing anything that's out there that's bad like i don't i don't hear people going through their struggle other than i was broken now i can buy a lambo and i can take your bitch that's not to me that's not, they not that's stuck. not life they not right there the same stories no Thank more, you. but My not the way that no. it used to be juice got a charger oh juice let me it's get not the, the way juice. it used to be at all so i think when you ask people that, depending on what era you ask them, you're gonna get just totally, two, like totally different answers. It's just not. Yeah. yeah, it just all depends on like what you're into. Like us, us being in the industry and like you know, in the clubs, like you know, it's it's what's popping now. You gotta play that. Like that's what the people, the, the masses want to hear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. There's but, days where I don't even want to play half of the shit I'm playing, but mm-hmm. I, it is mm-hmm. what it is. But you know, it just because we play that doesn't necessarily mean, like it's what. It's what we listen to on a regular basis. Right. Or well, like, yes, when you vibe in, what's your choice? What you, right. what you Not even in, that. In when Jay studio, first different. met me, all I used to listen to was reggae. Yeah. That's it. Old school reggae. We, thought, we, we, we had to ask this kid. Reggae. We had to ask this kid if he was really Dominican or Jamaican, bro. Yo, because <laughs> People were like, are you Jamaican? Half Jamaican? So I'm like, he loves reggae music so much he had a top five for reggae. <laughs> yeah, you I, saw I, that, right? I really do. Have you I want to hear the top five. What is that? Yeah, what's the top five of reggae? No, 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 no. You don't my, have vibes? My favorite, one of my favorite artists is Mr. Vegas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to give it to him. What about Buju? Buju. Let's hear, let's hear your top five reggae. I want to say Mr. Vegas, Buju Bantan, uh, definitely Vice Cartel. He's up there right now. Like, he, he lit. He is lit. Um, Believe it or not, Wayne Wonder. Mm-hmm. Wayne Wonder. And then um, if you want to take it old school, Super Cat. Super cat. Shit, everybody you name old school except fucking vibes. So Jay, how long you been in the South for? Say again? How long you been in the South? Um, I moved down here ninety. And I know him personally. That's 
97, I was in Miami for a year. Orlando came in 98. So you have a top five for the South then? Uh, like, like, trick daddy, baby. Like, like when you think about when you think about no the South Nick. music. Wow. Like what's the number one person that pops to you? He's definitely gonna say trick daddy. It gotta it's, be trick daddy. It's, it's the, the only two that, that well, I'm gonna fuck P. with. If definitely not. South, definitely not Master P. Definitely trick daddy. It's gonna be it's gonna be trick and Scarface. Yeah. Well, Scarface. Yeah. And then after them two, it's gonna be UGK. Name your top five South. For groups, or anybody. Or South. Anybody. South. It's it's gonna be shit, man. Um, I I, I would definitely give it to Luda because Luda definitely has spit some interesting bars. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, man. Like you can't really. I can't say I got favorite South rappers or or artists. Or anything he like loves Lil Wayne. Who was hitbangers to you? <laughs> huh? Put it like that. Who was hitbangers to you? Like. Scarface is like Scar like Scarface trick fucking y'all sleeping on Rick Ross I think man his... you crazy man I wanted to sell heavy drugs when I listened to Young Jeezy oh true Jeezy but see, but, all right all right but Jeezy's Jeezy the man of the lot. South if you think about South music you saying Young Jeezy and what about Ti I was no, just about to say no how not no, how not yeah. no how not he went too commercial Jeezy was in the streets Jeezy's the South yeah, I would be straight. I'm yeah, Ti. Nah, Ti is hot. I like Ti. So wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. So Florida. T- hold, up, hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, yeah. hold up. So wait, you said no to Ti because he went too commercial, but you praise Hov. Yeah, because Hov, Hov, Hov. Ti, Ti, Ti would, cons- would be considered the Hov of the South, then, right? Yeah. To a certain extent. The way the way he's saying it, the way yeah. he's saying it, like I, 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 like I, he I, went I, too I, commercial. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know who else had a big influence in the South? Gucci Man. Of course. He's, of course. Gucci. But I'm saying Gucci. Can't. I can't. Gucci. Can't. <laughs> it's, it's because of what he's done for I'll other artists. Jeezy. He's done like, Jeezy okay. Now. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he really he showed day. a lot of love to Atlanta and all that. Who? So. Gucci. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gucci, Gucci put a lot of people in the place in Atlanta. Mm. But. So, what about favorite producers? Producers? Man. Mm. Shit. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> when it comes to that. <laughs> you out on this? Just song? Blaze. Yeah. <laughs> Swiss Beats. Because I met so many you producers. Got like Timberland. Really That's. That's hard. I mean, Dr. Dre and Timberland would definitely be in Dr. my top. Dr. Dre. I don't know, man. It's it's a lot of these producers all have their different styles. So yeah. That's it depends why I can't which really... one. But but uh, I would say like Just Blaze and Timberland and Swiss are definitely like probably the most consistent on their style. What about Dr. Yeah. Dre? Yeah, but. I wasn't too fond of that last Compton album that he dropped. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. because he's, he's he grew up in a different era, a whole different era. Yeah, if we talk, you know, if we talking about old Dre, then then yeah, that's what but, I mean. I think that Compton <laughs> album was more of like because you seen like it was just a lot of new heads. Kind yeah, of yeah, album, yeah. So I think it was. Just I think that's of, what kind of threw me off because I was just like, wait, who, who the fuck are these guys right yeah. now? You know what I'm saying? I I was thinking this was supposed to be uh, Detox, and of course, I mean, it, it wasn't. No such thing as Detox. Yeah. <laughs> so I was I was just I was just mad on that shit. But if you want to talk about another group, um, Slaughterhouse. Yo, Slaughterhouse. Yeah. Is Yo, Joel Ortiz is the best uh, lyricist in Slaughterhouse, and then Royce, Royce the Five Nine, Crooked Eye. Oh, Royce the Five Nine, legend. Slaughterhouse is dope. What, whatever happened? Why did they broke up? They didn't break up. Uh, they, they just different doing different projects. Right. So they 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 still not broken up though. They're yeah. not broken up. Damn. So so you're not a Buttons fan. Oh, I like buttons. Like, okay. yo, for real, like buttons. Like, okay, you have buttons who did the uh, like yeah. mood music from fucking one to like what five point whatever it was, or you know. So, and then at that, like buttons, like when he was with Tahiri, he used to have like when YouTube was first popping, buttons used to have like his own blog on YouTube. So that's when I started like figuring shit. Like niggas gotcha. don't know about w- buttons like that. So yeah, like, nah. So but I but I know like I fuck with buttons heavy, but like I'm sorry. Just strictly like lyrics, yeah. Joel Ortiz, Royce the Five Nine, Crooked Eye, then Buttons. Nobody's yeah. nobody's whacking that group. None. Nah. Yeah, one hundred percent. None of them. What about what about State Property? That was dumb. That's a lot of people though. So it's like, yo, because State Property is like that's probably one of the dumbest things I've heard you say right now. <laughs> you don't like State Property? Nah. Oh, uh, Dipset? What about Dipset? You, you now you want to put me on blast right now, right? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. Ah, uh, not oh, not. Nah. Dips. You don't like dips. The hardest person in that group to me was Cameron. Cameron. You think so? Yeah. What? Hell yeah. I don't know. I okay. Look, you know why Cameron? But you I, know why Cameron? Because it was Cam- it's really Cameron before Dipset though. Yeah. Like it was when when he's Cameron got Giles or Giles whatever his name is like when he was chill when still like. Cam. He's still 
Yeah, so there you go. So you put That's when Cameron Killer Cam and Murder Mace was running together doing shit. That's a whole different story. So you put Cameron over Joel Santana? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Who had a better first album? I had to ask. Oh, Cam. Cam had, had definitely. Cam. I'm just I'm just not a fan of, of you know, I listen to it, but. Harrell was dope. J.R.? Uh, J.R. Ryder. Uh. J.R. Ryder, he can spit. J.R. Ryder, J. R. Ryder <laughs> can spit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not biased, I'm not. though. I'm not yeah. biased. You know what I'm saying? Sammy Sosa's Dominican. I don't fuck with that nigga. J.R. <laughs> wow. Ryder was dope. He was dope. J.R. Ryder was but dope. But Cam, Cam was on fire. Uh, of course. I mean, Cam had Killer hits. Cam. And that whole Rockefeller, that was my favorite label. I like Petey Crack, too. He was nice. Rockefeller was the best label. I guess. They had everybody. You think so? I think it's yeah. just before because you know they start, they started that. Are you confused? Yeah, yeah. Def Jam. So okay, I wanna. So I guess you know since we're still like talking about music and shit like that. So I wanna know like what does culture mean to like every individual person in this room? Like as far as like when it comes to music or just culture in, in general, like what does it mean to you? Because I feel like you know culture has so many different different definitions and like people yeah. just like say oh for the culture for the but they do not really grasping that a lot of them don't understand that right of course not so what does it mean especially from you like you know i don't know man like it's it's you know we're all we're all gonna go through certain eras and i'm always gonna think that coming up in in the 90s i I came up in the best era of music and that's hip-hop latin rock all that shit it's you know it's more than just just spitting some shit like it's just all around like you know we came up with you know graph mc and the djing like it's just shit that people sat there and studied their craft and learned their shit to get disrespected by what's just a pump, pump, pump shit. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, like, future tracks and all that, like, th- their production is always hard. I just, like, it's, what are you telling the people? You know what I'm saying? And then you got these kids walking around or or thinking it's cool to, you know, to do lean on a regular basis. And that's cool. Like, you got to do that shit, but... Juice. Pour me up. <laughs> or, or pop perkies and yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's like, all right, but where, where's your where's your real content? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, like I'm not saying you got to be out there preaching some shit. Like, but it's like, what did you get in this for? Exactly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like where are your stories? Like, like Pac was great at that. You know what I'm saying? Pac Pac had some insane shit. Yeah, but you talking about the time change and things that's happened. Like half of those dudes, believe it or not, went to school. Some of them. Yeah, but you. But what I'm saying school, is, I got hit single. I'm lit. But what I'm saying is, like, there's, there's, there's gonna be kids right now growing up in the last five years from that are like sixteen to twenty that when they get my age, they're gonna think that they grew up in the best era. Yeah, yeah. that's true. You know what I'm saying? So like, what's gonna happen now that that music phases out? How much worse can music get, or will it get better? Nah, I think I, honestly, I think it's I feel slowly little, coming back. It could be slowly coming back, but regardless, whatever happened like the eighties, nineties, like is never that will never come back. It can never, nah, that will never you, you come can't back. top you can't top that lyrical content. You can't this. not even the lyrical content. It's just like more of again, the word culture, dog. Like you don't just doing research, like I just know eighties and nineties, like really what, what cultivated hip hop to another level. Yeah. To what what presented everybody else to like open doors and then you have all these whack ass artists and like niggas who listen to what you're saying, yeah. you know, the and you know, and, shit. and it, it, it sucks because, like, from my understanding now, like, record labels are only like signing people based on social media views. Absolutely, mm-hmm. you know, like Atlanta Records just signed a fucking Cash Me Outside check. Like, yeah. who is she? Yeah, and I bet you. I bet you. you know and there's no talent. I bet you if 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 it's just a project, like right. you only get in one project, and that's it. Like, and that, but that's the thing though. Like all these little, all these little twelve year old girls who think she's fucking dope. Are gonna go buy that single. Of yeah. course, they're gonna download that single. A public figure, not an yeah, not an artist. You know, and, and that's the shit that sucks. That's yeah, why. But they one hit wonders. Yeah, but that's yeah, what but it is. But nobody's getting album deals anymore, right? Because nope. it's social media. Because yeah. again, like how you say, they sign people off of social media. So but, it's, it's more the publicity. You can't even say publicity. all that. You can't say all that because Young M.A. is fired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but and she's not getting the buzz that she should. No, she's not. But guess what? When she was getting the buzz, it was more because yeah, her shit was. She did a commercial the, song, and it was knocking in the clubs. But it, it's it's not necessarily like you know she she, like okay, Cash Me Outside girl, pretty much like sold out off rip from Doctor Phil all the way to now Atlantic Records. Yo, Atlantic Records. First of all, they be screwing niggas out of like, they be fucking with niggas like on those on those deals. I'm not talking like on fucking with them like on good like it's really bad deals, and Cash Me Outside girl like I'm pretty sure she has a horrible deal. So we'll yeah, wait, we'll wait for that project. But but what she's she's, she's what she's fourteen years old. Whatever. They're like, oh, we'll give you two mil, and to her, that's like great. But right. when she has to break that two mil apart, 
But that's the thing. I, I feel like, especially like if you're if you're mm-hmm. thinking of being an artist. Two mil? I think she yeah, she like two mil. It's like two point five or something. Yeah, what? that's Same horrible. Crazy, yeah. But I feel like yo, if you're if, if you're gonna be an artist, yeah, but it's a short term contract. It's not like she's signed for like ten. No, it's like but a, that doesn't matter. Okay, but you, even if it's a short term uh, short term contract, like you would want if you're coming into the game as an artist, I would figure like or I would assume like you would think like regardless if it's short term, like you you still have a long term goal for yourself. Of yeah. course. People just, again, like how you said, two, two mil, 2.5 mil, well, that's a lot of money. Well, everyone's idea of, of success is different. Yeah. And that also comes to the struggle being different. So people don't have much to talk about now other than not having enough money for the things that everybody else wants. But yeah. it's not getting your mom out of crack house. It's not, you know what I'm saying? The struggles are different. So the stories yeah. are different. So I think that's why hip hop is shit now. Like, it's not the same. It don't hold the same value. Well, it's not that hip hop is just shit. It's just like, it's just so many, like, avenues and lanes and hip hop is like like we know we know like the actual hip hop like what hip hop means to us but then you know look all that uh, whack shit is it's 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 considered the newer generation that's rap music that's rap music hip hop is completely different it's dead hip hop and rap is is dead yeah this is a different era they they interviewed they interviewed Kasky um was it Kasky whatever happened to that nigga too not Kasky sorry I heard you say Kasky Cassidy Cassidy, okay. And they asked him what he, what did he think about you know this new music, and he praised them. He was like, "Yo, he was like, it's great. It's great that these guys came up with a formula, ran with it, and killed it. Just don't call it hip hop, mm-hmm. yeah, because it's, yeah. it's not. Like you guys invented your own style, and we salute you for it. But it's not hip hop. You know, you 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 had." One of these fools going around talking about, oh, I'm better than Pac. No, you not. It's just basic mm-hmm. marketing. You, Today's hits. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, like <laughs> yeah, what, sure. what kind of, like, like yeah. yeah, you got, you're doing these festivals and shit, 40,000 people are coming out to see you. That's cool. But like, you're still not better than Pac. It's all marketing. Absolutely. They, they blew up off of social media, like you said. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a lot different. Basically, if you have a club record, you're going <laughs> to, you out the door. It's clout now. Yeah. That's what the word is. Clout. If you got clout. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shout out. I, I don't hate on her. I think she, what she's doing is great, but shout out to Cardi B. No, no. Yo, Cardi B's real deal, though. She's yeah. doing I saw, her yo, thing, I saw, though. I saw Cardi B live. Yeah, but she, how many, I, how I, many I, fails? Young, 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 young. How many failures did she have before she came out with that damn boat at Yellow? I'm pretty sure plenty. plenty. They said she they said, like she, had, she, they said she failed like 10, 10 times ten before times. this one. You know, but it doesn't matter. Like, And that's the thing. That's why I know she's the real deal, but because you fail, you fail so many times. And at that, everybody knows her background. Right. So before the like you know the rap game and shit like that, so it's like, but you can respect the hustle. And I, exactly. So the hustle All you can is presented when she's she, she's a performer, like real right. real. T- I've seen her perform, like she's real deal, like real cool. real deal. So that's why I give it out to to, to Cardi B. So. A hip hop artist of the year? No. Uh, no. I wouldn't go as far as saying that. Chill. I wouldn't give it. Hip hop artist, hip hop artist of the year. I give it. it. I give it to Car- uh, to Kendrick. She got it. I, no I shit. I agree awards, on that. Listen, Kendrick definitely. Four 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 is probably my favorite album of the year. But damn, when it, the time it was released, the message of damn, what, what damn uh, portrayed, and the consistency of what Kendrick has been doing, b- of the year, best I artist agree. of the year, it has to be Kendrick. I do agree. And I'm a, I'm a J. Cole fan. I always pick J. Cole over but Kendrick. Yeah. But I'm just, it just, it's about the, you know, what you do for the people, for the culture, what you do for yourself, and, you know, that brand. Like, people got to understand, like, once you get in the game, you're, you're a brand. So, you know, if you don't portray yourself as Nah, you got to give it to Kendrick. What about Drake? Oh, he Jake's, Drake's too mainstream though. So you can I, I yeah, never consider. Yeah, but he stays relevant. That's one no, thing. No, 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 no. He's but you're amazing. Talking he's talking about what people he's, sell. You're but he's not hip hop. How do you? He's sell? not only hip hop though. Yeah, no. No, he's, he's not. He's, he's not. a R&B. No diss to Drake. He's an amazing artist. Has great hits. But he's to me, he's not hip hop. Like he's he's. Nah, he's, he's not thoroughbred. He's just like in his own lane. He's not that. He's in his own lane. Then that's why you have Kendrick in his own lane. The thing about Drake is that he'll drop singles with other people and they're fire. And then you listen to his album and it's so fucking depressing. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, it's true. <laughs> Light skin music. <laughs> Listen, Future do the same nah. thing. You crazy? Future wants you. To, future makes you want to pull up. Future makes you want to. So when you when you heard when you heard when you heard the Hendrix like album, you wanted to pour up still. Hendrix is one of the best albums this year. Wow. So, so when you heard, I don't think it was the. Best. Are you kidding, Hendrix? Are you kidding? One of the best albums this year. One not of the, the best, best. album. No, I, I didn't say not the best. One of. One of the best. The best album this year was Jay Z's 444. What? What? Bye. No? 
I like four for four. I'm saying like what my bro. Go statement. to the corner and think about. Yo, what? I Kendrick's put, album. Are out. you kidding? I think I think before we get that that button to, that you know, slap somebody, let me slap you right. Now. <laughs> so what's your, what's the best album this year? This year, honestly, man, I've just been disappointed with music, but I'm bumping that Join the Lucas album in my car right now. True, Lucas is dope. I, I just I can't I can't listen to that other I'm, shit. Like I'm I'm, I'm giving it to Kendrick Lamar. Right I'm with you on that one. Damn was dope. Damn was listen be put again. On too, I'm I'm, number one is, for me is always Hove. Four for four. I ride that. Sh- I'm, I bump it every day, every single day. But I'm talking about I, you know I, I'm not a biased person when it comes yeah. to hip hop. Kendrick, I, like for album, I give it a Kendrick. Album of I give the it year. A Kendrick too. Album of the year. Artist of the year. It has to be Kendrick. It has to be. Yeah. Damn was dope. I did, I, li- I like Damn. How do y'all feel about Meek Mill? Mm. I mean, win or Listen, win, wins or losses. He did. That's his he best did album. His, he put his feeling into that. Wins or losses is his best album. I, f- I, f- I felt like I felt he was dope as shit, and I think he went too soft on that drink. Yes. That drink yeah, right. battle. Yeah. I felt like I felt that. like it was one of those like Nikki was like, if you embarrass my label mate, you will never get in this ass ever again. Yikes. And he didn't get it ever again. She, she, she left that nigga anyway. She she uh, it's, it's not even like you, if, that he embarrassed. Like, how is he gonna embarrass Drake? Nah, I just felt like he was just him. his energy on the stuff was too soft. Like you know, if you listen to all his shit, he's always been like high is, energy, and I was just like, all right, I feel like I felt like he could have went harder, and he did. Absolutely, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't praise him because he's from Philly. Chino was good, kid. Anymore, when he first came out, I felt like he was raw, and that and that was you. I could respect that better than this whole like transform shit. His last album was his best album. The one right now? Yeah, wins and losses. I don't think so. No, he has a new album right now. Yeah, wins and losses. That's the the one he just dropped. And you think it's better than? That's his best album. All right. He's so promise. You from Philly and you a Meek <laughs> fan? You don't think that's, you think yeah, his I first like, album? You know, I like the I like the original. The, his mixtapes. His mixtapes was fire. The I have I haven't heard his. I can't I can't listen, confirm it because I haven't heard his new album yet. Meek has two hits. Besides wins, uh, whatever hits on wins and losses, you got the I'm a boss. Mainstream. And then you got a. Uh, um, dreams and nightmares. I tell her meet me in the bathroom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I fuck a water, water running. Her yeah. friend knocking at the door and she's screaming that I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's my shit right there. Nah, but me, yeah, me it's a different vibe. She's like, I'm going to the bathroom. I got to meet that, that, that motherfucker. This year. <laughs> we're talking about this year or we just talking like in the general? Original, the original meat. Oh, okay, the raw okay, meat okay. that just came out. Rick, That's another Rick thing Ross too. Like, I feel like you got a new one? Yeah. Rick Ross album was good. What about A Boogie? The bigger okay. artist, his new album. I'm still sitting with it. So How I do y'all feel that. about Dave East? I think he's a dope rapper. I think he's dope. I think he's come a long way. I think he's dope, but he's just not there yet. Yeah, no, he's, he's coming. Commercial. He's coming up. He's not ever going to be commercial. He's though. never going to be commercial. That's nah. why. So he's not. He he won't be. Co- he won't be commercial because you know, he's he's just a different artist. He won't, he won't exactly. Although he has the push now because he has the distribution or whatever deal with, with Def Jam. So yeah. he's not signed to Def Jam like as an artist, but he's signed to them through distribution or whatever it is. So marketing. But women whatever. women love that nigga. Yeah. Of course. Mm. Oh, love, love, like love. women love that. Do we? Do we? How we feel about safety? Right. How we feel about safety? What is it? The tattoos? Tattoos um, do it for y'all? Demeanor. I, I thought Nas was daddy. So, so it's Nas or Davies. Huh? Hey, Davies is signed. Davies is signed to Nas. Hold on, Davies is Davies is a product of Nas. Yeah. So, hey, Nas got get, his teeth fixed. Get two for one. <laughs> two for <laughs> one. <laughs> yes, so is Fab. What about what, what about Big Sean? Um, he's oh. probably the most talented, underrated artist. Yeah. Absolutely, I, yeah, absolutely. definitely. His right. album was dope too. I yeah. decided. I decided. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He had a good. You know album. what? Uh, what? What song I feel like is like really like slept on was the bigger than me joint, where like he has a like, little church choir or whatever. Oh, yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's just more of the message. Like people gotta understand. Like music has mo- always been more of like what can resonate with the people. The message that you're trying to portray or like you know bring across. You heard. You heard. Um, his girl. Janae Eco tattoo. Got a big ass tattoo on her forearm true. with this nigga. Bro, Yo. you know what's so crazy? No, it wasn't on her forearm. It was on her, her right. Back. Is that her back? back of her arm? You know. You know what is so crazy about that? Her divorce with D, the D dot genius yeah. whatever was just finalized last week. And she got that tattoo. Got that the tattoo. week after. She was wow. waiting. Wow. Wait, what is it? it's, his, it's, it's his whole face. His, it's, it's, it's a portrait with a like him. Ink. Yo, yeah. it's like okay, picture me from here to here. That's love. With my with my best face. That's what she got tattooed of. I mean, I wish my I wish. Hey, but he's playing. He, 
I don't know if he's playing Step Daddy, but oh, shout out to Big Sean, though. No nah, but if y'all, I don't know, have y'all listened to her album, Janae Eagles? Nah. Obviously not, because it's some star her, wait, No, but like her, her old, or she got some trip. new shit right now? Listen, I haven't heard it, but I heard good things about it. Sure. There's a there's a movie about it, right? And she posted it on her it's on her film, website. A it's, a, it's a little movie about the album. And the whole point, the whole concept is her going through all these drugs um, because she's trying to get to her brother who passed away when he was about 20-something. Shit. He passed away Fuck because cancer. of cancer. Fuck, Fuck cancer. cancer. Mm-hmm. And um, she basically talks about her experiences tripping on different drugs, good and bad, and talking about how she reached him on a spiritual level to kind of come back to her senses because she lost herself. So in a way, I kind of get that she probably looked at Big Sean as somebody who was moving to her. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. inspirational to her life. And he is a celebrity. It's not like he's not, he's not, he's not an ain't shit nigga. You know what I'm right. saying? Like. Mm-hmm. Hey, by all means, they're very head ass for each other. Mm-hmm. So we say now, very yeah. and very head ass. <laughs> if that's you know how you feel, then that's how you feel. But yo, if you ever want to get that removed, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> fucked right there. Yo, yeah. for that we need another uh, twenty eighty eight album because if you got that tattoo, we need some, we need yeah. some more music. Not the tattoo. that shit was nice. That's true. Her music is fire. Her music is fire. R and B now is way different than back Can then. But get? I think I think it was in a good place. You think so? I think it's an. It's a, a, well, there's so hope. Yeah, there's it's hope. How you said? Okay, it's the same way. With when you when you when you think about R and B right now, who's who's mm-hmm. the guy in R and B? Who is the guy in R and B? Yeah, or the girl? There's a guy in R and B right now. Like, like who? P and D. Who? P and D. Party next door. Yeah, mm. you do Yo, that fine. seven days, that seven days yeah. album or project, whatever you put out, and then that you, know, new you, one, you right? got P and D one, two, and three. Then you got Colors, who just released like what last. P and D got it. And he, yo, remember he writes a lot of hits for people too and shit. So what about that? Uh, what was it that Khalid kid or something like that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I like yeah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. sound. His yeah. it's his, a different it's vibe. Different. But it's different. you know, it's it, those that we're like, oh, he got a different vibe. He got this. He got that. He'll never come up up top. Like, but they you, selling out. Not a lot of people fuck with it. It's because just a it's certain thing, different. You, but not, no one can appreciate not, like, not everyone, something new. Not, a, not any. Not everyone's gonna reach that commercial mainstream success. But they're always gonna have. You know their their way in the game. You know, right. so like, yeah. what what I what I've what I've learned is like, with doing like doing concerts and shows and shit like that. When you start looking up these artists, like my partner was like, "Let's do so and so and so and so," and I'd be like, "Yo, who who is that? Oh, you might not know them, but they're they're only doing festivals, so that's why they're getting twenty, thirty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Whoever does festivals, and it's like you know, and it's, it kind of like it kind of like worked out like with like Action Bronson. You know when he came on the scene, is that is, is that a Queens bias thing? No, like he's a beast, <laughs> and like his 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 rate was like forty grand. Like you have no commercial hit. What was it? Forty grand though. Two years ago, this nigga was doing festival. I don't. He, That's what I'm he saying. Didn't go on tour. He was on festival the entire time. That's yeah. all he did. So like I started learning. When that, he like, was throwing niggas off the of stages and yes. shit. Yes, clotheslining them, and throwing. Then, yeah. Like, while he's performing, he's going to go to the porter <laughs> party and shit. Like yo, shit you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's it's but like. However, these guys are doing it. Kind of like I was telling you guys earlier, like with Joyner Lucas, I was praying to God yesterday that the show was gonna be dope. Cause I was like, I saw no promo for it. I heard no, no buzz, no nothing. Walked in that bitch. That shit was sold out. Damn. And you know, I look around at the crowd, and it's a bunch of like white, white and Spanish like college kids. Damn. You know, I was at the social yesterday. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, social, they got that. Nah, the show. That's, the, that's that little Social's that's, bringing that's people secret. out. The show that the show was off the chain, you know what I'm saying, and it just was one of those things that it's like, all right, who knows these people? Yeah, how are they hearing them out? But yo, they're booked on all these festivals, and and that's why they they charging an arm and a leg and shit. So it's like, all right, well, somebody knows who you are because clearly you getting twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, I like Bryson Tiller. Oh, first album. That is his first album, though. Oh my god. His, he's, he's, he's but, like the but, he, but the question is, what happened to him on his second? <laughs> And the first one had the <laughs> boy. Yeah, the first and one. And your feelings. The second one, it was just like, uh, He was kind of back and forth with it in the second one. He was like on, on and off. But him as an artist, he's dope. He is. Mm-hmm. Bryson Tiller's dope. Can we get um? Can we get people like Frank Ocean in The Weeknd back? The Weeknd, The Weeknd. Because they're two different spectrums, but I feel like, you know, Frank Ocean was more of delivering a message in his style. The weekend was more a vibe type of person. Yeah, yeah. See, but he went he mainstream. Kept funky, he kept it he's, funky. He, yeah. he, he'll he go, talked he'll about go left, everything. He'll come over here to the right. He'll right. Jump on this track with you. He'll touch he'll your soul in two, two, yeah. two whole uh, seconds. Have you heard his remake of Dirty Diana? 
Of course. Yes. He sounds just, <laughs> yes. if Joker. not better. Nigga. Yes. That yes. shit was off the chain. Like Michael Jackson remastered. That's I was what like, it is. I, I'm looking at the cover. I'm like, is this Michael? Like, who, right. who is this he's kid? Dope, yeah, he's dope. The weekend is dope. I like, um, you know who really doing something? Shout out to DJ Nasty. You know, that's the homie. Khaled. Khaled's moving. Yeah. Khaled always like got another yeah, one. Yeah, his album. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Was like his new, iffy. His yeah. new no, album. no, like, because. Like, grateful? Yeah, that was a dope album. I think I think like some of his stuff is 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 good, and then there's like some that's like okay, you know. And I feel like maybe like some people might just jump on the bandwagon because he's all over the place. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They're like, oh, it's got to be dope because he's always on Snap. He's always on this. Yeah, social media is what blew him but, back up. But it's like, don't get me wrong. I, I feel like he's probably one of the hardest workers in the industry right now, and, he, and he's getting it. Yeah. But I don't think all his stuff is consistent. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like it's like you know when he dropped like, I'm so hood and shit like like you know like just like that I was like damn feeling then he'll throw some other shit like left field and I was like, what that that Bryson Tiller and Rihanna the Maria Maria it it Wild took me that, but I'm saying thoughts. but that's the thing like it took me a little bit to like really super jump on that shit because I was like it's Carlos Santana yeah, it's yeah, this classic. it's that you know and then you listen to it after a while and then you know. I, you know, from my understanding, you know, Nasty's brother, once they got the okay, like, he did those strings. Yeah. So I'm like, now nah, that's a different story of respect because, mm-hmm. like, he did that shit himself. Yes. Santana and Wycliffe had to sign off on that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it, but it's because, you know, that they, it's not just a sample that he, he redid it himself. Then, you know, there's a lot of talent that goes behind it. Yeah. But the track that, the album, the song that they dropped before that, like the Drake shit. I'm not feeling nah, that. Man, I wasn't to the max? Either, nah, yeah. I wasn't fucking with that. Yeah. The, the, back, for free, yeah. The, for, the for free drum was better than that. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. And, and 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 along that line, like Khaled, remember, he told us he was ready to give up. Yeah, he was DJing in the clubs and yeah and all that. He had Miami, but he was ready to give up. And then he went on Snapchat one day, started talking his shit. Blew up. And right the yeah, up. man. He was ready to quit. Like he was like, "Yo, I'm done. This shit ain't going nowhere." Now he got Assad, so Assad's about to take him to another level. <laughs> now he's Yo. got. Now he's got no reason to sit down. With, now he's chilling with celebrities, movie art, like that like, baby blue hair. Uh, he's so cute. All he had to say he was is so adorable. So all he had to say, so all he had to say was, like, was this is the dumbest shit. Yeah, yeah. They don't just want you to win. Where's so little hair? Hey, hey, you know what be killing me when he be like. I saw you want to do jacuzzi talk? <laughs> do jacuzzi talk? <laughs> and he takes it to the jacuzzi. Nah, my favorite one when he first started with the, you see me like, you see me like, you see me like. <laughs> yes, boy, yes, boy, yes, boy. Yes, boy, yes, boy. See, I be missing know, all that shit because I don't you, follow him, so I don't. That's what I'm trying to tell you with social media. Like, you could do anything on there, and if it fits in that, yeah. you could take it to another level. It's, it's crazy. I, I, res- I respect anybody that got their hustle. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, for example, like, and I, I'm talking to y'all ladies. Fashion Nova, where the fuck did that shit come from? Yo, for real, man. Yo, they, 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 yo, hey, hold up, wait, 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 wait. Ordered anything off of Fashion Nova? I haven't. Hold up, wait. They're not cutting you a check. Don't even talk about them. I'm just saying, I see that shit everywhere. I'm like, God damn. But shout out to Fortunato. Where did they? They're like the. They're like Fortunato. That's my boy Stan's clothing line. They're like the H and M. Yo, you guys got a friend named Fortunato? Stanley Fortune. He has. Go to Fortunato.com. Uh, F O R T U N E N A D O dot com. Is that a shout out? Fortunato dot com. Yo, that's my brother. Uh, he used to be my basketball coach. Um, I was just up we here. Don't, we I, gonna get hats for us. We got. We, we gonna get. Nah, hats it's, for it's no. The reason I ask you that because like my best friend in high school, his name was Fortunato. No, his last right. name is Fortune. Yeah, his last name. Oh is no, Danny my boy's first Danny name. Fortune. His first name is Fortunato, and, and he's Haitian and Dominican. Oh no, nah, this dude's <laughs> straight Haitian, up. My man, straight up Sicilian. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So like, I was he like, got, I've he got, got that good so blood in him. Dog. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> like, he, like he, he good. But I was like, I, th- I thought I'd never meet another person with even remotely near that name. Yeah, but shout out, shout out to Stanley Fortune, Fortunato. Please check that out. Um, and uh, Leeway, Leeway is my artist. As a matter of fact, oh, actually, Juice's artist. Oh. Yeah, I, I got an artist now. Who's your? Oh, artist? oh no. Leeway. I got like two artists. Yeah. yeah. What's their names? D-Star. Oh, D-Star is Flaco nice. Flaco Four K. Ooh. I like Flaco Four K. He's dope. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got a studio. Here Juice too. is managing somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna start managing <laughs> an artist. Yo, but it's it's our childhood friend. Like I'm talking about. He, he so did he only let Juice manage him because they're childhood friends, or like? 
not. Well, I mean, I don't know if he's. Li- juice is plugged in. Juice can't even manage himself. Listen, it's it's I more was of about like. To say, but what you mean? I can't manage myself. <laughs> they gotta help you twenty four seven. Don't start. <laughs> juice, I manage you. <laughs> and, I, and I'm going to manage the artist now with your help. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you manage him skills. so he knows uh, how to manage nah, already. Right. You know? I, I've been dealing with arsonists for nine years, man. I don't even, I don't even want another, however you guys say your last name. Philion. Philion's. Fucking like, guys hey, like an how's army. Your car? Philion's. How you, how's your car? Is good? <laughs> My wheels is good. <laughs> What you, what you pushing these days? Uh, Bus my, 11. My, my vans. <laughs> Arson is passengers. <laughs> oh, wow. You got a bus pass? Nah, I you know, I never, I've owned the bus the probably like twice. Where? What? He, he shot out the sunroof earlier. Y'all didn't catch it? Well, yeah, yeah but he shot at that for a different reason. Yeah, yeah, the the sunrail don't go everywhere. Else. He was thinking about a different railing. So. <laughs> you did. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, my. Really so, so when are you going to get a car? How are you going to drive your artist around? Shit, Uber. <laughs> Yo, you take your Uber. We got, we got, we have a driver. Yo, G said I'm about to start Uber just so I can make money off of you. Yo, you should like, yo. He's like, yo, let's go. So I'm gonna do Uber. Then you sign on, you pick him up. I just love, how, I, I, I love my No, cousin, just man. give him a flat rate and charge him like Venmo. I love Venmo my cousin, but he was like, yo, uh, shit, uh, I gotta go over here. You trying to ride? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I gotta go do this. You want? You want give me a reason to go. Like, yo, we gonna eat. Are we gonna get a haircut? But does he pay for your lunch <laughs> or the haircut? <laughs> no, not the haircut, because you know this is grown man shit. But okay, but the food, food, the food, okay. Bro, no, bro, no, he's paying for like, McDonald's yo, though, yo, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, McDonald's or Wendy's. No, 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 no. We'll do two casa here and there, because you know it's like. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna lie. With juice, when it comes to juice, juice, juice will take care of you. Juice will take care of you. Yo, juice will take care of you. Juice will take care of you. But it's not even food. But juice will just like listen. I've I've known juice all my life. Okay, juice will take care of you, but you always eating good with juice. Always eating good. Well, yeah. eating good. We know that. Like, Always but I don't need to eat good. I need to eat less. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at me, my nigga. Like, you know, like shit, bro. Like, I got my own squad, and we eat good all the time. We eat good. Yeah, but you, your, your eating good is Capital Grill. And that's eating good. Del Fresco. Yeah. No, that's eating oh, good. Wait, but, but you ask like you act like when we go out there and shit like that. I'm like, oh, I, I just want that. No, nigga. We order the whole fucking menu, all Everything. of us. That's that's eating good. My so eating good is eating good was not ten. His, tacos, his eating good is like, yo, we going to Waffle House at three a.m. Yeah, three a.m. We hitting <laughs> gyros <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you. And I gotta you tell you how you, to get shot? And I gotta tell you how you eat your wings. You gotta get lemon pepper, hot garlic, or drums with blue cheese. Ew, I'll pass on the blue cheese. Yeah, I'll pass on the blue cheese. Yeah, cheese. I, I'll I'll the blue cheese. Ranch. I do ranch. Hot garlic, hot lemon, garlic pepper. I do ranch, but I don't hot, do hot, hot garlic. garlic Yo, Arson has brought me blue cheese on Sunday to eve, man, and you lucky he wasn't next to me. I was going to throw that shit at you. Yeah, nah, you I brought cheese? you ranch and blue cheese. Nah, there was only blue cheese. I think Dre took my Dre fucking took ranch. ranch <laughs> Yo, Dre, what's going on, fam? Y'all don't like, you don't like blue cheese? No. Blue it reminds me of toe jams. Yo, blue cheese kind of reminds me. It's just like, like tartar sauce to me. Yeah, I like tartar no, sauce though. No, it's just like aged milk or something. It's just not yeah, like like it's lumpy, it's, man. Nigga, like it's, 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 it's just made. That's what that it is. Are we are we really talking? <laughs> you about see her face right now? right now? I mean, shit, we've been touching a lot of topics. I mean, we're talking about white sauce right now. What white yeah. sauce? Ooh. Hey, I, I, you, got more, you, you got more questions, Ars? You got some more questions? Don't go to White House. Ars is going to talk about how he loves Kobe. Like, Don't weird. get me no, started about asking. But hold up, hold up. Boogie, Boogie, I got a question, though. I, I got, I got a serious question to ask you. Hold on, hold on. Jay got, Jay how, got a question. How long you known Juice? I've known Juice. I'm 25. I've known Juice 18 years of my life. You got to tell me the dumbest shit he's ever said to you. The dumbest shit he's the ever dumbest, said The dumbest, because I got one. I got one in my arsenal. <laughs> really? He doesn't say dumb shit to me. He says, what? He's dumb, he says a lot of dumb shit around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, Or not even dumb shit, like real disrespectful shit. So, for example, as far as disrespectful shit, we, I'm talking about we kids. We kids, so. Oh, he's disrespectful all the time. You know his, he, you know his older brother, Nice? Yeah. Okay? So, you know, Nice, when, when, when his son Jaden was a kid, um, <laughs> we, they had a... a Another bouncy house. <laughs> Another bouncy house in the backyard. <laughs> Son to talk about, huh? This is, this is when Juice was living in my neighborhood. This is why he don't like bouncy houses, huh? So, yo, I'm going to tell you why he don't like bouncy houses, though. Because he want to be disrespectful to his mom. So, you know, long story short, you, you know, he just, you know, playing around, goofing around. Everybody's having a good time and shit. And then, like, you know, I don't know what happened. And his mom said something to him. And then I was like, yeah, whatever, bitch. <laughs> yo, to his mom? To his mom. Boom. Bro, why are you laughing over? There? Yo, because I'm a kid. Like, yo, no, we 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 kids at this time. 
she has like I don't know what it is with Hispanic women at that time. There was a broom like either in her hand already, Whatever's or like right next, bro. He was in the bouncy house while he was saying it, so he was coming out when he said the bitch. When he said the bitch, the broom was already coming down. He he, he rolled right back into the bouncy house and shit. I was like, dog, I did she hit out. you? Yeah, I didn't want to come out. <laughs> and then so in another time too, right behind his house, when he used to live in my neighborhood, there's a pool there, the community pool. Everybody's there. I'm talking about you know everybody like you know we consider ourselves family, so everybody yeah. you know there, and you know we're just chilling. You know, you know the the little uh, what is it three feet? And we're just we're just chilling. Again, he wants to be disrespectful for his mom. I don't understand why. Listen, he got no beef with his mom. He loves his mom wholeheartedly. I was you know like eleven years old, twelve years old. And so you didn't like your mom when you were eleven years old. No, I but love he, my mom, he, but he, I was he, just a disrespectful he, kid. He, 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 he calls he calls her was, he calls her a b word again in the never. pool what? in front of everybody. Bro, I swear to God, I thought that was the last time I'm gonna I was gonna see Juice. <laughs> my mom went to the pool and tried to drown me. <laughs> Son, <laughs> <laughs> mind you, he's already taller than her, <laughs> and she she was like, "Yo, first of all, first she came with a smack, like she came boom." And then after that, dived was, in the pool and slapped you. No, no, she was already in she the pool. She was already in the pool. And oh, he said, he said, awesome. he's, but that's how you know. I know he's brave because he says it right when he's she's next to him, and she just came bomb with a smack. And then she I think, I think after shit. twelve years old, I stopped disrespecting my mom because I was already scared. But he always disrespected his teachers and shit. Oh, my teachers. He said after no filter. Years old. So, Yo, so I can I, I can see the I can see the disrespectful what? shit because, you know, on Friday nights when we're counting our money and shit like that, he's always wanting to stick his hands in my in my dog girl's titties and shit. But he asked her though. He'll be I like, asked, he'll like Yo, "Can I put my hands in your titties?" She'd be like, "No." Then he'll ask her again. He's like, "Come on, please." Like, like the please is gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Like, He's just a persistent oh, type. Yes. Like, Damn, can we name he does that shit to Michelle. He does that shit to Michelle. Bro, yo, yo, the one time, the one time. That's my dog, though. I always do it. Yo, the one time we're sitting in the office and she's counting money. We count money. He was like, "Michelle, can I ask you a question?" She's like, yes, Juice. He, and he didn't want to sound too disrespectful. So instead of saying like, oh, like, do you suck dick or something like that? He was like, do you give oral? And I was no. just like, well, he wanted to be real proper. Like, he wanted to be pro. Yeah. And Michelle's kind of, Michelle kind of money. She was like, yes, nigga, I give head. Yeah. And he was just like, <laughs> yeah, she said it just like that too. He was just saying like, oh, no, word. Michelle's no joke. No joke. No Yo, joke. she's a fucking no beast. Right, now, but, you, now you want to hear, you want to hear the most fucked up shit Juice has ever done to me? Oh shit! Or one of the fucked up things, like not even done to me, but like it was just fucked up what he did, where like niggas was like fucking, you know, like yeah. concerned about him and shit, his health. Again, another house party at his house, right? And you know, I think this was either New Year's or Fourth of July, whatever fireworks. There was yeah. fireworks and shit like that. So they they over here busting fireworks in the in, in the backyard and shit, right? Oh my god, I know this story. I know I know you know because the nigga I was right there when I was fucking concerned about you, <laughs> bro. I'm talking about like yo, like with no homo, like me and Juice's relationship, like we're real close. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like we really care about each other, like no homo. Like it's just like yeah, yeah. brothers, like we're literally brothers almost. So this nigga, like he lights a firework and it's, he does it like so close to his face, and then he starts being like, Oh my god. Ah, yeah. I'm talking about like it sounded like he was crying. Bro, I ran to him, I was like, Yo, you okay? Blah, blah, blah. He was like, Yeah, I'm just fucking with you. Ah. And then he lights another firework, bro. Ah. Seriously, bro? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Like He's you just such an asshole. The way I explained Don't it is probably it. not as dramatic, but I'm like, you had to be. I there. could see him doing some you dumb shit like that. There. I'm talking about like where he he was playing it off, like he was like his eyeball either popped out his socket or he was bleeding and shit. Yo, next time we're gonna let your face fucking burn <laughs> off. That's what you He's got. The, little He's boy the boy that cried, cried wolf. wolf right there. Oh, wow. yeah. All right, so so right so there. so you get him just doing dumb shit, right? Oh, I, I've seen so, a lot of dumb shit. Little little what it was little doll. <laughs> what? You and a doll. I'll let, I'll let you tell that story. Which one? The doll. We don't. You, doll or dog? Doll. Doll. He's oh not, yeah. When not, I was in high he's, school, he's not into bestiality. He used to oh. fuck blow up doll. When I had a high, when I was Whoa. in high school, one of my homeboys had a blow up doll. I see the video. I tried him. What are you talking about? But I had What's clothes going on. on. You had clothes on. He did. He had clothes. It's on YouTube. That. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. I'll, I'll give you guys the Yo, YouTube he, later. He got, <laughs> I got the YouTube. Serious his face got the right now? I had clothes on. I had clothes. Yeah, he trying to I got YouTube plus. So I, I actually saved it. That was the time I had it. clothes on. Don't disrespect me. Y'all want to see it. I was, <laughs> I was in high school. My friend had a blow-up doll, and I was just playing <laughs> around with it, and he walked in and caught me on video. Who did? Uh, one of my friends back in the so day. So let me ask you a question. Have you? Did you fuck the doll without your clothes on when nobody was looking? No, no. No, 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 no. It wasn't his doll. It wasn't his doll. Oh, so wait. You were fucking your man's dog? Yeah, my friend's blow up dog. It was a joke. That's just some disrespect. No, he wasn't was, like literally fucking it though. Nah, yeah. what we did was we, we bought a blow up dog to take it to the beach and just play around with it. We was in high school. 
Hey. So how do you know he didn't fucking before you in this? Cause I went, I went, went, I went, went. They bought it together. It. They bought it together. Yeah. Pause. And we took it to the beach yeah. and we left it at the beach. So it's like you guys, you guys, you guys went. So it's like you guys went to the club together, picked up a chick, and then when one, when, when your man went to go take a piss, the other one like assaulted her. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He said, "Yeah, we raped the." Yo, doll. the shit juice does right. Hey, hey, that well, hashtag what, shit just hey, Oh, we got some shit from. Hey, tell them the shit that I said that one day. All right, so, you know, without getting into a whole lot of it, um, Juice, myself, RSNS, Koya from the radio station, and a few other promoters, we're, we're putting up together a nonprofit organization, right? So, you know, we throwing, shooting names at each other and stuff like that, and, like, one of the names that came up was um, Humanity. <laughs> oh my god so and this is why it makes sense about the total education shit all right so you know juice is like oh that's cool and everybody's like oh we like that and he was like what do you think of the word community and i was like mm. and this is on a text like we're all texting each other and he was like I, uh, he was like i think it has a better ring he was like i like community better he was like humanity <laughs> sounds like we're hunting humans <laughs> Where did that come from? Mind you, like, our nonprofit is about helping kids. And this dude's like, it sounds like we're hunting. And I was like, do you even know what the fuck that means, bro? <laughs> Yo. So, okay, so he doesn't understand what humanity is. First of all, I want to know what your thought process is when you over here talk about hunting humans with I humanity. was trolling. I was fucking around. This motherfucker right. wasn't trolling. Hell no. Was trolling. So, okay, so you feel, okay, so Jay, you feel like he doesn't understand the meaning playing, or yeah. the definition of humanity, right? Probably not. So there's one time again, group chat. <laughs> this is this is the guy's group chat, right? And we're just talking about some shit, right? And the word vulnerable comes up. Oh comes my forward. god! The word vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> the Yo, word vulnerable. The word vulnerable comes up when it comes to you know this female, right? <laughs> and I'm talking about this is years ago. So, and you know, like we're talking about it, and then niggas was like, "Oh, so Juice, you don't even know what vulnerable means?" Because like what he was like writing back was like it was not what we were talking about. Yeah. So we're like, yo, what does what does it mean to you? He was like, it means attack. Attack. <laughs> Where did that come from? So I googled it. No, no, this is this is I may, I like Both, now now did you think spell about, it right. Yeah. Now thinking back on it, like I understand, <laughs> yeah. I understand why he said attack because you know if a female's feeling vulnerable, like that's your chance, like oh you gotta attack. Okay. But like we were literally asking him, like, yo, what's the definition? You thought that was the code word, nigga. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Me. I don't that's know. Great. Bro. Back to the that's great. That's great. But he, he wanted to go to the homework. Yeah, let's get attack? back to the question. I'm speechless so right now. I can't okay, even. Okay, wait talk. a minute. Like, really? Dom, okay. Dom got a question. Dom got a question. I'm retarded, bro. So yeah, loud. you are. You are. You definitely are. Hey, thank God he said it on the podcast. Yeah, exactly. What, what exactly? Exactly. <laughs> what exactly do you do when you attack a vulnerable <sighs> female? Wow. Nelly. No, Nelly. I, I do not <laughs> Mr. Cosby, please. What happened uh, please was, approach the mic, Mr. Cosby. What, what happened was they asked me what it meant. And I, I was probably stoned on the couch or something. So I didn't really feel like answering questions. So I Googled it. Right. And the first thing it said I, I saw was attack. So I just copied and pasted. But then you put it in, in a sentence. What was the sentence? It means attack. No, that's what they they, they thought that I meant it. They, I'm attacked. I mean, if you copied and pasted it, if you copied and pasted it, it's not so what you we didn't thought. Go to dictionary it's would, not what we thought. Nah. It was what was I would, written. Oh, I would never attack a woman. That's fucking creepy. <laughs> it's like, I'm not um, creepy. has any of your yeah. friends not told you you are pretty fucking creepy? <laughs> nah, they just be like, "Yo, you retarded, bro." I'd be like, "Damn, that's fucked like, up." That, that, they they just want to be nice to you. Yeah, but all right, cool. No, I, I, I never called you retarded. Yeah, but creepy, nah, I ain't a creep. Juice is super retarded. Nah, Juice is just a clown. <laughs> bro, that's your cousin. I'm a He's clown, bro. He's just a clown. Bro. Can't get <laughs> serious. Uh, you, can't, you can't take, lady, ladies, yo. you can take me serious sometimes. Ladies don't. Yeah, but yo, Tina and I were getting ready. He was like, yo, real talk? Yeah, go do that. Because you look like somebody's son. <laughs> <laughs> that's his best friend. That's. I'll be clowning. <laughs> what? Going on the yo, lines Julius are creepy, though. Yo, Julius said you look bored, Ars. I, I ain't bored. I'm just thinking. Thinking a lot. <laughs> bro, you gotta, I see the questions already there. Like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. Damn, he's ready. still writing questions? I gotta keep going back at the females. You like, got a couple. Oh. You know, he said creepy. Like, why do y'all females dress so sexy and provocative and then guys try to holler and you be like, ew. He's okay. Creep, he's creepier. You know? First so what of all. Y'all, y'all if creep- you're over here showing cleavage and they make a They make they a, make a like, comment. Why you be like, oh, you creep. Or, oh, you thirsty. No. Like, why are guys thirsty Go when you dress it like okay. that? Okay. First of all, weird. women dress like that. It doesn't always have to be for men. It could be for, for them. themselves. It's no, for, for real. Because you think about it. You go out. There's a lot of women that dress provocative. So 
you trying to feel sexy too is not is not you it's a just competition. Into a crack but hold on. Men. But let me answer your question. It's it all comes down to how a man approaches a woman. You could sit here and compliment a woman and tell her her titties look great, but if you say it in a nice way, we're not gonna take it offensively. So what's the a best pick? What's the what's the best for, way to what's the best pickup line y'all ever heard or have received? I want to know how you can tell a girl her titties look great and not be disrespectful. Right, like, yeah. Or not be slapped in the face. So hold on. You Let don't me... have to compliment just her titties, just how she looks fine as fuck. Well, yeah, no, no, I get that part. But you just yeah, said, but, no, no, you just said you could tell a girl that her titties, titties look, look great. fine, great, and not be disrespectful. Like By saying it the right way, you don't have to just, you know... I know really address the titties. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, you, sure you address the... Sure you address... Look good on you. you or them yeah, jeans you, look nice. Yo, you, that you, shade you compliment like the really whole body. Fly. Like, you know, <laughs> guys don't do that. We're going to be like, damn, though. man. Look <laughs> <laughs> at all that Nah, that's cake. how ours be. Ours be like, Look at damn. all that cake. That's Listen. With a cigarette in his mouth. Club. I go through all day, like a real day. I don't know how many stories. Listen. How many stories? I wore, I wore all white the other day, and I heard a a all white, a all white, a white shirt, a white pants, a white booty. I'm like, oh, where, where, where were you at when you heard if that I shit? I want to see you all white, black, and you're snowflake. Were you walking on the other side of Pine Street? Wait, 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 wait. Other side of Pine Street. Don't you know you're not supposed to wear white after late? Yeah. It was before. That's what Arsene would have said to you. Yeah. Do you want to know give you a compliment? That, that, that would have been Arsene's pickup line. She's like, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. I don't care about that rule. A girl in white pants anytime is great. You know what I'm saying? So, Arsa be like. Men in gray sweatpants. No. Like a girl in yes. leggings. Only, only gray sweatpants? Y'all need to keep yes, wearing the them gray sweatpants. Gray sweatpants. <laughs> only the gray sweatpants. You heard, fellas. Just gray. gray. Just gray. I don't, no black. No, no black. Black. Just gray. I'm wearing, I'm I'm wearing black point. sweatpants. They can't, they can't see. Because girls can't see the print through the other colors. That's why. Right. They're colorblind. <laughs> hey, we what don't is look coming? At that. We don't I, look at yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> so going back. So going back to the question <laughs> earlier about looking at some early, dick. Y'all be looking at me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got him. Got him. See why you no, holding back? No, off rip. We don't look at dick. Got him. That's my man. Sure. That's my dick. So. Unless you walked in with some gray sweatpants, then I might be like, oh. Look so at now you're saying if a dude walked in with gray sweatpants, you gonna look. Well, I'm gonna look at you if you walk at where we walking into, like not where, about. just in general. Yo, like, look, fellas, I mean, like, let me let me explain this to you. Look. Like, I'm always I'm always surrounded by women, so like I see a lot, I hear a lot. So like, what they're not telling you is, I don't know if you pay attention to your Facebook this week, and I don't know if any of you guys follow Shay, but her posts were like, "Yo, gray sweatpants season coming through." It's gray sweatpants. I was like, yo, is this bitch really just looking? I've never heard of gray sweatpants. I've always heard of cuffing season because, you know, fall. Yeah, but see, for for women, gray sweatpants, then they can see the dick So basically, fellas, for the wintertime, make sure you have some gray sweatpants. It'll help you out. Okay. <laughs> so I, I look I at that shit on, 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 on my social gotta, media. I'm like, yo, Shay's crucial, my nigga. And, like, and ladies, it's winter, so keep wearing them leggings. But guys, if you have a little dick... Don't also, crazy. when it comes, yeah, wear the black ones. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> she said, wear the black ones. I'm saving when you when it comes to winter. We ain't trying to see that, boy. <laughs> She's like, wear karate gi, nigga. That's it. <laughs> when it comes to I'm winter, black sweatpants all When winter. it comes to winter, <laughs> ladies, we like we like you with the straight. So hair. basically, y'all little dick. When it comes saying, to winter, yeah. we like you with the straight, straight hair. Make sure you know you taking your. I understand sometimes you got to wear the leggings and the jeans to, but you know just make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies, so you wear pants. Yeah, no hibernating. And no hibernating. With the straight hair, the straight hair, and the, during the winter time. Okay, okay. What I want to know, ladies. You want to know a no lot. Panties. What with you mean? What? And you, what? Do you like wear going commando? Yeah. Do you go commando a lot, or is it no. Like no pick and choose? Nah. See, we need a support system. Mm. Obviously, we on your period. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I hope. No, see, I, I work with a lot of drunk. Young bartenders, let me mess around and come out commando. <laughs> some girls, some girls don't like wearing panties. Yo, Dom, Dom what got her ass bit the there? other day. What? what? She, she got, she got her ass bit in, in, in the VIP by a midget. Nope. <laughs> nah, nigga was sitting down <laughs> though. He was sitting down and he was like, ah. <laughs> he said, yeah. make him say, oh. I'm making shots. He was like, mm, I wonder if it tastes as good as it looks. I was like, this nigga's stupid. Make the shots. In the club Turn when it's around. dumb yeah. hot and sweaty and that. Oh, man. I was like, are you for real? Right That's kind of nasty. Yeah. Wow. They, they crazy. Yo, Again, you know, you yo shout out to the dude who bit Dom's ass. Back, so <laughs> she should have farted on you. Bro, you you, you ain't kick him out? He ain't kicked out? Uh, oh, he got handled. Oh, 
handled. It got handled. Uh, Jay went to go handle that. I mean, nah, it, got, it, 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 it got it got handled, but it, did. it, it, it was more but, like... So basically, you didn't like that shit. When guys grab your ass, slap your ass, you don't like that oh, shit? every Sunday, I get crazy in the restroom. It's bad. It shouldn't be like an okay thing, but... But I mean, not like, just Sunday in general. Like, if a guy slap your ass, you, you, you punching him? When she's off the clock, probably. Yeah. I could tell y'all why I don't go to beach him. Why you don't go to beach him? I was like, you having a good time? He's like, yeah. I was like, did I? I wouldn't even go to beach him if I was... If I was rich, like I didn't know place? what Beecham was, yeah, okay? I found out because I went in with my friends, whatever. I walk in, first thing, some guy reaches for my for my cooch. And I'm just like, I, I mean, I step back, I grabbed his wrist, and then security came. Apparently, he was trying to grab other coochies. And he, went, he came out. The cooch, cooch bandit. bandit. He's the cooch bandit. It was, it was and <laughs> I don't remember. Grab him by the pussy. I really don't remember. <laughs> Did you grab him Sunday? It oh, had to be Donald a Sunday. Trump ass Nick. I want to say it was cooch <laughs> grabbing <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Because grab Sunday. that was my first and last time. <laughs> Coochie grab a Sunday. Yeah. It was crazy. He's related no, he's I definitely wouldn't name one of my parties that, but that is pretty funny. Yo, you know a that's, a ju- that's a juice party right there. Yo, you're wildin'. <laughs> Yo, the, only way you get, you, the only way you can enter if you grab the, girl, the tour girl's pussy. <laughs> Michelle will Gucci. fuck you no, up, kid. Michelle will kill me. No one will be in that party. No money made that You ain't making no money. Now, but, money made that now, but you know what I want to do as a party? A dope party idea? Leave your cell phones at the door. No. That's well, like we put them at a locker in a locker. Where's the, the reason why? And, 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 and I agree not with you here. because, like, you don't think that would work? Sugar no, social media has bro, niggas, niggas are so always on Snapchat shit. or shit like that, like while they're in the club. Like, they want to nobody's gonna know if your party's dead, dead or alive, dude. Who cares? Show up. Hey, who cares? Show up. Yeah, I think that's a dope idea because you get the vibe, you get to talk is. to a girl. It's true. You're not on your phone. You get to, I get to have a conversation with you. You mean, Listen, you mean the people that come through the door or like staff and everybody included? Everybody included. Well, nah, not, nah, you well, can't include staff, staff because you can't they have say to staff communicate yeah, bottles yeah. and all that. Yeah, just everybody that comes in. Nah. So listen, just only go to Juice Nights or Jay Johnson Nights. That's it. Facts. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because we have most of the same nights together, so. <laughs> well, just show love to <laughs> Just follow me on just show love. IG. See no, where but I'm at. we're talking about social media. Like, Do you think relationships and social media have Changed has changed from absolutely, hell yeah. Yeah. absolutely, hell yeah, Cause absolutely. Because like I, I think of it like like now with social media, like it's like a it's like a menu. Like all right, my my bitch acting up, I'm gonna look on slide and DM, see what I can get. Okay, so let's talk about that. No, for real. <laughs> Likes, there's different likes, there's I, comments, there's, there's DMs. everything. Honestly, retweets. You know why I don't slide in DMs because I'm nervous that they're gonna screenshot me and make fun of me. How so would how would how would you ladies like someone to slide in your DMs? I mean, they do it, but it, I mean, it. you don't gotta see. I'm saying for, for you to respond, like, how would you want, like, what? How would, shit. I'm like you know what? Shit, and then, like, <laughs> All I ask is, don't come in <laughs> <with> my DMs <laughs> acting like, like you know me. I've had a guy send me paragraphs, like, if he knew me, and I'm just like, that's creepy because you don't hey, know me. Yeah, I have one, and I'm pretty sure he's the same one. Cause you know what's funny? I posted it on Twitter. I said, you know, y'all see Mean Girls. Has anybody be has anybody ever been victimized by Regina George? Whatever, if you see Mean Girls, you know. And I want to say it was like fifteen fav favorites. All the girls were victims of the same nigga sending the same message, the same paragraph on Instagram. Wow. To all the same. I fly something, kicks or something. Yo, beware! Stop. He's gonna slide in your DMs, acting like he knows your life, and it's crazy. But she also she, she also just put you on too, fam. So basically, <laughs> I guess I put you on, fam. But about the one that be trying to read you. Yes. So has yes. It, but what does it take for a man? What does it take? So has what does it take? What are we doing right has now, Has there bro? been a time that somebody sent in DMs? You were like, damn, you know what? I'm I'll, I'll reply. Oh, uh, we'll see. How about? Yeah, I feel like that was I entertained something. How, actually, I have a question for y'all when it comes to that. How do y'all feel with women shooting their shot? Cause I've shot my shot instead. I don't like. I it. like it. I'm a fan. I'm here for that. Okay, cool. Ladies, come talk to me. <laughs> okay. I am here. <laughs> if, I, if I like you, if I think you look good, then I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm give you a for effort. I'm, a, I'm. We're gonna talk. Listen, ladies who shoot their shot are welcome. I, yes. No, I, no one has shot their shot at me. <laughs> we're appreciated. But Damn. you can. I think it's dope. I think girls should do that most of the time. Right. Like, all the time, actually. 
Like, it's like cause, no, it's because I think I'm drunk. It's but not all, all the time. time. But if you're just feeling somebody, I think you should you should tell them. I'm Cause, having because there's, there's there's girls out there that I used to like and I never said none to them because I'd be like I don't know if she likes me. That's it. That, that's that's, that's true. That's, that's kind of like the the, the like I'm not how communication goes. Like sometimes it's like eh, like whether you can draw that line or not. Like, yeah. I don't think that you should so, be a female that wants to be a, that feels like you have to be approached all the time. No, I think right. you should be open to the fact that like yo, if I'm if I'm vibing with dude or he, I feel like I like his swag or whatever, and he looking like he's not gonna step up, then I gotta have the one to. You know, yes. Board, so going along that, that lines, you 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 go both ways, not that way. I'm saying like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'm> clarify, <laughs> please. You know. that <laughs> so you would approach a guy if you felt like you had like a little vibe, yeah. Or would yeah. you rather and the guy come approach you? I feel like I'm a good judge in character. Who is yeah. So you basically, <laughs> so you basically <laughs> saying <laughs> body language, and like if you feel that I, body I, language, I the head making the move. Me like I, I can see that, so I'm not gonna put myself out so, there in the dark. So but I mean, so from my opinion, yeah. Guys don't have to make the first move. Mm, not all the time. Not all the time. Not all the time. I would prefer the majority of the time that I don't have to do that because I feel like pursue it. You want something? Yeah, of course. It. Off rip, a guy should. It's like, obvious a guy should go up to the girl and talk to Yeah, but it, it, it's it's harder because guys were are more prone to getting curved than females trying to talk to a guy because any guy would be like, like sure. especially like in the club or something like that. Like if the girl is so hard, like like. Niggas will double think it and you, be like, "Yo, like they they might not want to shoot their shot in the club." And yeah, then, like, how you come? Though. You, you have my right. more. You I cannot. I can never knock you if you come correct. You just gotta come a certain way, and I'm not gonna. Even if I'm gonna laugh at it and tell you how cute that girls was. Girls would have not, more man, success I'm, at talking to a guy than a guy trying to talk to a girl. I'm, I'm about absolutely. to get curved. Absolutely. Let me not even waste my time. She hasn't agree. even looked at me twice. Not. Absolutely. We ain't even got eye contact. Let me wait till she talks to me. I agree. I believe it. The fact that Ars went through all that, he be studying that chick like. She didn't look at me yet. <laughs> she still hasn't looked at it's, me. I'm telling you right now. My oh, shit, guy. she's looking at me. Oh, what, what you want? No, Can no, you no, play no, this no. song for me? No, no, oh, no. all right, my bad. That's all you want, man? If I don't get double eye contact, she ain't interested. Double it's eye contact. Damn, double, though. She's so she's you heard, you she's heard anybody who wants to holler at arsonist, she need look, at least three, look three one. times or more, two you or more. Do a hey, double listen. Double take. She'll look one and be like, oh, my God, he's cute. And then she'll look again. Come talk to me, nigga. Not if during, I don't get those two, set, though. curve. What if the second one was an accident and she was looking <laughs> at old boy behind you or something like? Damn, that's not her. Nah, I got 20-20 vision. Fuck out of here. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a DJ, so, I mean, if you're looking at towards his direction, he's the only nigga at the table, so. Okay, okay, you're right. Shit. What if, she just want, just, what if she just wants a song played? Then she'll come up to me and say, hey, play my song. That's it. Plain and simple. But she comes to me, I don't know. Shit out of don't, don't ever whisper that shit, shit in my ear, nigga. What the <laughs> fuck wrong with you, bro? A, a girl said that to you before? Honestly, yes. Girl went up to you and just said it just like that. I want to fuck the shit out of you. Yes. <laughs> as fucked up as it sounds, I be in the booth and she's like, I didn't come here for a song request. I, I, I think you're sexy. I want to fuck you. I'm like, damn. So, like, she changed the, the volume of her voice? Yes. That didn't scare you? I'm about no. to say, that's kind of a little scary. That's the ultimate no. question. But, but, did, but did you? And she was kind of ugly. Oh, see, but they got the most you, confidence. That, 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 <laughs> the ugly girls, the ugly girls. And I was like, confidence. and I was like, you know the question. The thing is, was like, he didn't say no yet. No, he no, didn't no. say no. No, I said I appreciate you, but so I have a girlfriend. Ah. I had a lie because she's kind of ugly, bro. I'm like, come on, I'm, I'm here for it. She is. <laughs> just, just because you got the courage to come to me like nah, that. No. If she was a bad you bitch, I'd be like, I would have grabbed her. I would have went like this, turned we'll it around. I got to go. What you looking like? All right, come on. What you told, looking like? I would have told the other DJ, hey, I got to go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Juice. You don't, you don't ever want to do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Speaking I did that when I first met my girl. I met her at, I met her at Senso. And she was like, hey, can I get a wristband for, for, for Terrace 390? And I was like, damn. Who's this? Spin around for me. Now nah, I got kids. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I got kids with us. Don't think about it. So hey. don't spin around. Don't computer. do the spin around because you might like it and then you're I, stuck, dude. I, God bless. I'm not a mean person. I got to do a couple of things. Yeah, I have a girl, unfortunately. <laughs> but I appreciate the gesture. Man, you too nice. I'll keep it real. Talking that shit about girls. You know like, Ars talking I'm shit. I'm Ars <laughs> talking shit. He'd be like, I ain't get ass for like three weeks. I'm smashing her. <laughs> He'll be like this. I'm going upstairs. Watch the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Takes off his headphones. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I have Unplug a, his headphones. Take it with him. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I have a weight limit. I can't. 
Oh yeah, that, I, that's one thing. I have I a weight limit. My dick won't even get hard. Like no bullshit. What's your weight limit? I'll, I'll push it. One sixty and below. Anything over one sixty, I can't do. Yeah, her ladies. I can't do it. Boy, maximum. I, maximum. I, I've never. Yo, and then you know what's fucked up in juice. I'm sorry, I put you on blast. Be like, yo, Ars, you cop some head though. I'm like, not even that. Yo, Ars is ne- never mess with a big girl. I can't. Never. I've never you seen. You don't her. do the. Oh, I, I, I do. Oh, I mean, I do. I, all, I do all shapes. I do borderline thick. It just so depends. Octagon. Juice, juice loves yeah. geometry. <laughs> yeah, I do all shapes. Oh, it just depends. Shape. I do, I juice do, loves geometry. It just depends, though. It can't be no. It can't be no the auntie arms. You know the auntie arms. Oh. Those that be cooking. It can't be those. The ones that Yo, be serving gonna, the food at the barbecue. Yeah, and shit. Nah. But no. Yo, juice. <laughs> but y'all gotta understand, man. I'm a skinny dude. So if a girl get on top of me. <laughs> It can't be those. Yeah, you gotta understand. I'm a skinny dude. A girl get on top to me and I can't breathe. It's over. Yeah, that's so you, <laughs> you, you can't protect, even perform. You gotta protect the major arteries. You know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> I don't, you I need don't your lungs to breathe, not your stomach. And I smoke cigarettes too, so it's worse. <laughs> I love all girls, big, fast, skinny, no matter. Just be nice to me. Nah, oh, I've, I've seen big women that no are cute, but I just can't. Tito. I can't be see nice. myself. Don't break my heart. I can't see myself. Don't break Juice's heart. Yeah. He's like, I'm believe it or not, big girls. Show the best love, though. Yeah, they're the best. Real talk. Yo, you know you guys are about to lose half your fucking... <laughs> your yeah. I'm going I'm to keep it 100 right now. If Vintage looks light this Friday and Vice is popping... Oh, shit. You might have to get fucking <laughs> suspended <laughs> for like the month, my nigga. Yeah. I might, I might have to. I'm be like, I'm be like, yo, somebody. why, why you, why you not, why you don't not have all the big girls coming? I'm gonna be in. like, yo, why you hey, not at Vintage? Y'all welcome, baby. You know Drinks <laughs> on me. <laughs> Drinks <laughs> on me. Y'all yo, you welcome. Watch out for the big girl. Watch, watch out for the big girl. girl. That's my jam. Yo, I'll be in the middle of the dance floor. Hey, I'll be in the middle of the dance floor with my cup of Henny, looking around like, yo, where they at? You know what? I'm gonna cut that clip out. Bro, yo, they're all live right now, dog. They they hearing you out right now. Hey, man, I, this is my preference. I'm sorry. Everybody has their own preference. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong. Everybody has their own preference. I just like something that I can handle. You know, if it's too much to handle, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that fucks with your, like, what do you say, your your man? His equilibrium? No, your manhood, like, you go feel like, damn, I can't overpower this girl. Like, exactly. She, like, she she's fucking me. I'm not fucking <laughs> Oh shit! Exactly. And yeah. when has if that ever been a problem? If she's it's fucking a, me, then there's another, another, another one. He's, look at him; he's like a buck forty. <laughs> oh shit! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wet. Wet. <laughs> oh, so we roasting now? Just roasting? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, no. Get him. You gotta get him. You gotta get him. You gotta get him. Listen, listen. We need we need to wrap up, brothers. We need to wrap up. Yeah, yeah. We gotta wrap up soon. I wrap up all the time. So what y'all talking about? Saved. Yo, you, you really don't want to start going at these conversations. Oh, we'll start roasting all day. Don't do nah, it. Nah, it's nah, only nah. the first episode. It's only the first episode. You know man. what? I'm going to cut it short because I got to go DJ after this. So let me stop. Where are you going? I got to go to Tier. Everybody Ooh. go out to Everybody Tier. Show love to Free Arsenal. promo. Free promo. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no, <laughs> ain't no girls move. coming out after that shit, my nigga. Back. Oh, no. All the skinny girls. All the out. big girls <laughs> come out for Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. It's. It's big girl too. All the skinny, okay. all the skinny girls coming out like, okay, all right, I see you. <laughs> you one shallow <laughs> motherfucker, man. All the that big girls ass. coming out like, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't shit. And I'm yep. gonna be like, you know what? You pay ten dollars to come in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, the difference between a big girl and a little girl, big girl's gonna fight you though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now you gotta watch it back. And that's what I got security for. <laughs> 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 Fucking arson as well. He's like, come get it. And we still don't have a podcast name, but this was fun. This was. Yeah, this, this was pretty. Yeah, this was fun. This was fun. I had fun. Agreed. Even though it lasted longer than an hour, but it's Hell cool. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we, chop it up. We I'm already chop it we're gonna release it in two different parts. I'm already part I'm already lit, and I'm gonna go over to work. Lit like a light bulb. Lit. You lit like a light bulb. Like a bombilla. Yeah. <laughs> like a bombilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we save it if we post it already? But yeah, so, so yeah. catch us next week. Follow me on Instagram, Juice LMP. Jay Johnson. DJ Arsene LMP, also Mr. Everywhere LMP. I'm just Boogie. Just Boogie. Oh, and big congratulations to Arsenist. He is now the DJ for the Lakeland Magic. Yeah. Hey. You know? Shh, we don't got the sound effects yet, yeah. so. Let's make some noise for that. Let's make some noise for that. And, and, and I'm on 104.5 to beat. And he's on 104.5 yeah. to beat. Shout, oh, out to shout out to Koya. Shout out to Koya. Love. Hey, and then also shout out again KMR Custom Made Records. Yes, yes. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. But I do got a question. 
Who the fuck's the Lakeland Magic? Oh, shit. Oh, that's the Orlando Magic D. Yo. D. Wow. But. Don't put him in trouble with his job now. Nah, remember yeah. that. But but he's getting his foot in. You got, you got, but you got to let the people know who they are. Oh, yeah, Come they're on, the huh? D-League team of the Orlando Magic. Of course. Got it. So catch me this Friday at the Orlando Magic and Cavs game. Okay, yep. and then when's your when's your game, and when's the next game in Lakeland? Uh, November tenth, the official tip off. So a month from now. Yeah. All right. Nice. So we can all like go out there and shit, streamers of all day. We can walk, walk There's a preseason with... game on, on October thirtieth, but you know. So we take a road trip out there, have signs saying "fuck DJ Arsonist." You can't say that because to them I missed that everywhere. Well, there you go. Now I don't want to say because I I want the wristband so I get free food, the buffet. <laughs> so I'm gonna be nice. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna pull up a juice. Oh yeah, Word. we are. I need the buffet. Plus two. Oh, we lit. Word. We lit. Oh my guess is. See, I'm Golden bad. Corral told you. Yeah. Golden Corral. <laughs> see, yo, I sit here, I he pay attention. Notes okay. over here. Hey man. <laughs> Y'all in trouble. I'm about to be super lit and late to the club. <laughs> Mm. Little, oh shit! <laughs> oh man! Nah, but on a real thing, I think I think this was fun. It was amazing. It was amazing. Everybody who listened out there, I know it wasn't perfect. But you know it'll get better. Of course. Next we week we're back at it again. We appreciate Did we keep it. it. Real enough for y'all though. Oh yeah, the ladies kept it real. I, I don't I don't know her too much. <laughs> you know, I only what we know is like we like each other's pics in Instagram and we say, <laughs> oh, what's good? Thanks for coming out. I, I, you, I know you, <laughs> and I felt like you were too a little too soft. So we might have to bring Ooh. you back. I know and, of her, and, but oh, you is the sexiest oh, shit. Huh? I had to say that. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, look, That's see. That's why y'all have me on here, look, right? Look. right. Right. Say daddy one more time. All, all because all, how, how I gotta say. It. Gotta say just daddy. say how you just said it the first. It. Or the first <laughs> but listen, <laughs> yo, yo, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm, I'm gonna save but your I, life. Don't look at any of these niggas in the eye when you say it. I'm about to look at her. <laughs> you might, you might want to say that shit to her. All you have to say is, it's the end of the podcast, daddy. Or oh, like Ooh, yeah, yeah. Close it out. Close it out. Close it out. Yeah, yeah. Close it out. You gotta be real seductive with it. Okay. That was all for today's podcast. I appreciate y'all listening. Daddies. Ah. Daddies and mommies, because mommies too. Mommies as well. Uh oh. And we out. It was fun. It was fun. We'll see you guys next week. Hey. Hey. Appreciate y'all for listening. KMR, shout out. Shout out. I fuck with drug lords more than any politicians I read books about anything that's not religion The mad scientists, they're signing all these pop petitions Trying to get it popping for our locking on the opposition Starving physically with thoughts up on my dinner plate Nightmares of leeway getting caught up on that interstate Niggas who oppose the hustle like a certain je ne sais Quad that I generate, flawlessly innovate Laws can get in the way, that's why we sling around them Anybody tripping by, they probably ain't allowed And I make detectives shrug their shoulders for they throw the towel Keep the money moving so we don't resort to violence I don't believe in trust, only believe in results My enemies far from dumb, that's why I'm keeping them close This dick game's for real, steady defeating them hoes And if I shut the door on you, then I'm leaving it closed I ain't playing around even though I'm playing the game Better than chess, checking veterans who saying my name Don't get ahead of myself, I'm always learning this shit Nothing lasts, all flows, you can't turn it, get this At the end of history, I'm in the here and now Freedom makes some bomb shit, they wanna hear about out. And if there's hate, then I'll just drop it and we'll clear them out. Screaming, fear the cloud, little bitch, fear the cloud. Yeah.